Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to white noise. As a photographer, it's hard to control everything that's going on in your set, and you certainly can't control whether or not your model had a good sleep the night before, or whether or not her contacts are bothering her. When these obstacles arise, it's always great to have Photoshop to help us with these concerns. Although you may not see the concern I have in this image at full frame, zooming into the image at 100%, and bringing the model's eyes into frame, you can see that they are bloodshot and we do have a bit of redness. I'm going to select the white of the eyes using my lasso tool. And I'm just going to trace around the white of the eyes. Going over to the other side, I'm going to hold my shift key, which puts a plus symbol next to the lasso, which allows me to continue to add to the selection. I'm doing the same thing over on the other eye, holding shift, and I'm gonna to continue to add to the selection. Just gonna finish up the selection now. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. The next step that we do need to do though is feather this selection. It helps it look more natural and it definitely transitions a lot better. Going up to select, modify, and feather, I'm going to choose two. Next step is to add an adjustment layer. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna choose the hue saturation adjustment layer. Since the redness in the eyes is what we're targeting, I'm gonna to go to the master dropdown menu and select red. This is gonna help us target that red. I'm gonna reduce the saturation. And already just clicking on the preview bef uh, before and after, you can see that we've already reduced the redness in the eyes. To brighten the eyes, I'm going to go to the master and I'm going to take the lightness and I'm going to bring it up to around 20. I'm going to click the adjustment layer away. Using the preview icon on the adjustment layer, I'm going to click before and after. So you can see that we've definitely made the eyes a lot whiter and brighter. But at the same time, I do think they look a little fake and not too natural. I'm going to make sure that I have the hue saturation layer selected and I'm going to go up to the opacity and I'm going to reduce that to around 50. Again, previewing it before and after, you can see that we still have reduced the redness in the eyes. We have brightened them, but it looks a lot more natural. Some of the texture of the eyes, some of the vessels are still coming through, which definitely makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm going to zoom out so that we're at full frame. Again, previewing the image before and after, you can see how that does make an improvement. Again, before and after. The last step that we need to do is from the sidebar, choose flatten image. That merges the adjustment layer with the background image, completing the retouch. And that's it, we're done. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.